Hi, welcome to our Hot Blog Tips Hangout. I'm Cheryl Locke and I'm here today with Brian D. Hawkins of HotBlogTips.com. And the question we're going to talk about today is where's the pause annotation? The, pa the pause that we used to have on YouTube for annotations is gone. And from reading the Google help sections, I found out that they've taken it away because it was being abused. But in a little bit, as we go through, I'm going to give you a couple of workarounds depending on why you were using the pause to start with. And people use the pause for a variety of reasons if you don't know what it is. It's, you can use it if you're giving viewers time to answer a question. So you can insert, you could insert the pause annotation and it would freeze the video. It wouldn't add time to the video. So your video length isn't getting longer. It's just going to stop the video for however long you set it for. So if you ask a question and you want to give the viewers a 10 seconds to think of their answer, you could use the pause. Another reason people would use it is if they want people to subscribe, maybe they had a subscriber view the next video, then they might have a little card in there saying subscribe, check this video out, this is step number two, and they may have a pause annotation hold it there for a few seconds so the viewer had a chance to click. And then you have the beef heads. And what these guys did is they would use a very long pause at the end of the video. And the reason behind this was they didn't want the related videos that pop up at the end of the video to show up because then the viewer might click off. They might click another video. Oh God forbid. This wasn't going to be like a 10 second little pause to give the viewer a chance to subscribe or anything. Some of these guys were using two to five minute pauses because they didn't want related videos popping up. Hello? If they're watching the video on YouTube, your pause for however long, the viewers already left after a few seconds of it being paused. There is a whole line down the side of related videos. Your pause was not going to keep them there. It was not going to convince them after 20 seconds to subscribe or do your call to action. They were already freaking gone. They, they had went and watched another couple videos by the time your pause got done. Well, all of these things led to abuse. Therefore, YouTube removed it. So the pause was great if you used it appropriately. And we all miss it, but there are some workarounds. Now, if you use it for a question and want to give the viewer time to answer and you no longer have that pause before we get to another way you can do it, you can simply say, hey, pause the video now when you figure out the answer, click play again. People are smart enough to watch your, your videos, they're smart enough to pause the video. That's one way you can do it. Now, you could use a blank card, or like you'll see at the end of some of the Hot Blog Tips uh, videos, also the Fuzzy Wuzzy Anna Pals videos at the ends, I have a card that has images or words, and I have it for like 10 seconds where I put annotations over the different pictures and say click to take another animal quiz, click to subscribe to Hot Blog Tips. And I have it at the end, and I let it run the video for that 10 seconds. I didn't use the pause. So you can do that. So you're adding 10 seconds to your video. It's not going to make a big difference in your retention rates. Then, of course, afterwards, the related videos are going to pop up, but I'm over that because if you tag properly, you playlist, you do all of these other things, a lot of times those related videos are going to be at least a couple of them to your other videos. Hello? Duh! Let them go watch another video of yours. But... If you are embedding the video onto your website, there's ways around worrying if another video pops up and the viewer leaves your site. So we have a video showing, and I'll put the link up. Does that look right? Yeah, I'll put the link up here showing you exactly how to go and get your embed code where you can click off related videos. So when you embed the video on your site, it's not going to show the related videos. There you go. Easy as pie. And 
if you don't want to go those routes, I made another video this morning after hours of video problems. And what we're going to use for this, as long as it lasts, is the new video questions editor beta option. I'll link to it in the, the description below. I'll also have a link to the video that explains how to use this new beta tool to make a pause in your video. What I will ask you though is do not abuse it. it if you know someone that, that takes these pauses and puts 10 minutes at the end and does all kinds of crazy crap, don't show them the video. Maybe they won't figure it out and we can keep it around for a while. I'll also link to the video here and you can go check that out. So the, anna the pause annotation is gone. I don't think we're going to see it back. There's ways to get around it by adjusting how you do things, whether it's just asking people to pause your video, answer the question, and return to it, whether it's adding an extra 5-10 seconds to your videos to give the viewer time to take the action you want them to, change the way you're embedding your video, or you can go check out the video and try using the questions. And like I said, the new question option, if it gets abused, I don't know how long we will have it around. So that's what I got for you today. I'm giving you a few ways to get over the, oh my god, the pause is gone. And hopefully this will help you get your videos out. You can keep doing things like you want to do them. You may have to make a few adjustments, but nothing real drastic. The pause isn't gone forever. We can, we can do it. So Brian, I know that you didn't know a whole lot about the pause, but do you, do you see where pausing the video at certain points to give viewers a chance to take an action would be useful, but could also be abused? Well, yeah, sure. And I mean, there's, there's more than one way to pause. There's more than one, more than one way to pause something. Okay. But uh, yeah, I, I like your workarounds. I I never never knew about it until you know until you just taught taught it to me. So I really don't have that much to say on it. <laughs> but uh, I I do think it's a shame that things like that get abused and removed for a few bad apples. So yeah, I can completely understand that part of it. But yeah, I. I don't know. I, I I don't think that pausing. I know what you're talking about with the cards and stuff, and I can't. I can pause at my end if I want to write something down. You know, like somebody flashes. I'm a slow reader, and I'm even slow at writing. So somebody had put an email address or something on there, or a website, and I might not want to click it at that time, or some of them are clickable. So um. You have to click the pause, just like I do on the TV set. You know, uh, if you have a DVR, you can pause in real time to write down something or to dial it. You know, so I don't know that you really need to pause everybody just to give everybody a chance to write something down when you may only have a fraction of a percent that's actually trying to actually see that. So I don't know. That's just my thought. And I think that most people, if you're going to take an action, as soon as the the annotation that comes up and says subscribe, click to visit our website, and you're linking to your website or whatever, most people are going to take that action within a couple of seconds. Now I went and looked at the new questions, the the new questions beta, whatever they're calling it. It's long because of doing the Fuzzy Wuzzy Anapalis quizzes and I thought maybe I could use that effectively and that's when I figured out hey this pauses and I know a lot of people miss the pause I just I worry because every once in a while I come up with one of these great things oh here's a workaround and about the time I get it out there and we get all excited YouTube yanks it down so I won't be sharing this with any of the the big YouTube people or Google people on Google Plus, I'll just hide it from them because they're always such a doggy downer when they see my stuff. So, <laughs> okay. well, but, and, and the, uh, 
I had another thought too. When when they when they were the abusers were pausing it for long periods of time at the end to prevent the related videos from showing up. Doesn't that hurt their retention? Because I'm sure that's when people are clicking away without finishing an entire video. No, that's why you use the pause because the pause doesn't add any time to your video. So if I put a pause, the old pause annotation or the new workaround I have, say my video is two minutes. I put the pause annotation or how I can do the questions now, it pauses, stops the video. So I can still have that pause at the end set for 10 minutes if it'll let me. I haven't tried it that long. And my video is still only two minutes. So that's why they would use it is because they could add all this time, but it wouldn't affect their retention because they had went all the way to the two minute video mark, but yet the video would still, their video would still be taking up the space. So yeah, the pause just came to a stop and froze in time. It kind of reminds me of that silly tactic that these email marketers use. It just kills me. They'll they'll send you a, a you know a newsletter. Or, it's usually not for newsletters, but you know they'll send you their little ad copy, and then you'll have to scroll down for like three page links to see their unsubscribe thing. It's just like they put all this white space into their unsubscribe thing trying to hide it. So, which is really, really pathetic in my opinion. But it seems like it's the same thing. It's like a pathetic attempt from allowing those related videos from showing. So I can see how that would be considered abuse. Yeah, and the thing is, like I said, you can embed the video, any video, without the related videos or embed it from a playlist so that it keeps going and doesn't get to those. And after, what, probably five seconds, most viewers have already left. Why make it abusive a minute, you know, ten seconds, how many... How many people watch a YouTube video and it sits on the same page for even five seconds? Yeah. So, yeah, that's just being a waste. And if, like I said, if it's on YouTube, they got so many other choices. And if it were me personally and I didn't even have the other choices on the side after it sat there for a couple of seconds and it looked like it was the end of the video, I'd close the damn page. Yeah. You know, I can go find something else. I don't need to sit there and you don't have to worry if I'm going to click off, I'm going to click off. And yeah, if you do your tagging right, you can actually get some of those related videos to be yours. Yeah, I've seen and that. Yeah, because on Fuzzy Wuzzy Annapals, a lot of my views come from related videos and those are usually my other videos. So they're going from one of my videos to another video of mine to another video of mine. So I don't care if they watch 10 of my videos rather than them sit there and me have this pause for two minutes. Right. I'd rather them keep going. Keep looking at videos. You'll sooner or later get find another one of mine. That's the topic you're looking in is related to mine. Sooner or later, I'll show up again and you'll click one of mine because you like us. <laughs> so that's what I got. If you didn't get the links, I'll put links to the two videos. I hope I can fit them both. Yeah, they may go over my face, but I'll put the links to the two videos here so you can go check out how to make those and get your paws to work or workarounds. And this has been our Hot Blog Tips Hangout with Brian D. Hawkins of Hot Blog Tips, and I'm Cheryl Locke, and Mitch Mitchell was off on business today and didn't get to join us, but... I'll make sure and catch him up or he can watch this later. So be sure to subscribe to Hot Blog Tips on YouTube and visit hotblogtips.com for more video and blogging tips. Thanks.